Hello and welcome to using Particle Track and Particle View for lubricant technology applications. My name is Anil Agiral and I'm going to demonstrate how Particle Track and Particle View can be used to characterize particles, droplets and bubbles in lubricant oils in real time in real concentration. Here is outline of my talk. First, I'm going to introduce you Particle Track and Particle View. These are probe-based technologies for real-time size distribution and imaging of particles, droplets, and bubbles. And then I'm going to demonstrate applications of these probes into engine drain oils for insoluble size distribution and visualization to understand the state of dispersancy in the oil. Then I'm going to switch to anti-foam polymer droplets characterization in gear oil samples for their size distribution and visualization to understand anti-foam incorporation efficiency. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate air bubble characterization trapped in oil after aeration for their bubble dissipation rate and visualization. Let's start with particle track, the measurement method. The particle track is a probe-based instrument that uses a technique called focus beam reflectance measurement. The probe can be inserted directly into process streams and particles can flow easily across the probe window where the measurement takes place. A laser beam focuses on the tight spot at the sapphire window and then the optics rotate at a fixed speed, typically two meters per second resulting in the beam spots scanning across the particles as they flow past the window. As the focus beam scans across the particle or droplet system, particle structures will backscatter the laser light onto the detector. And these pulses of backscatter light are counted and then the time duration of each pulse is multiplied by the laser scanning speed to calculate the distance across each particle. This distance is defined as the chord length, and it's a fundamental measurement of the particle related to particle size. Typically, thousands of particles are counted and measured per second in a concentrated sample. But I also worked in much diluted conditions. This allows a highly sensitive chord length distribution in real time. The chord length distribution tracks how particle size and count change from the beginning until the end of a process as they naturally exist in the process. Statistics from each chord length distribution, such as counts in fine and coarse size classes can be trended uh, over time. In summary, this technology can allow us to better understand, optimize, and control our systems. And Particle View is an in-situ probe microscopy that can capture high-resolution images of particles they, as they exist in situ to reveal insights for chemical processes. It's a lightweight probe that can be inserted easily into process streams and in my experience, it's a good complementary tool to particle track. So you can study size distribution and morphological changes by visualization and with statistics. Personally, I prefer to complement my size distribution data with visualization through microscopy so that I can assign what peaks correspond to what structures. Now we get a grasp of methods of these probe-based measurements, let's have a look at main applications in chemical industry with in-situ characterization at industrially relevant conditions. Crystallization and emulsification control, especially in pharmaceutical industry. Asphaltine dispersion control in oil and gas industry. Asphaltines, which are also called cholesterol of the oil industry, can clog the pipelines through deposit formation and monitoring the dispersancy of asphaltene insoluble is essential. Suspension polymerization, and in applications generally to track particles, droplets, and bubbles. Now, let's look at the first example, 
in my first example, we will look into characterizing engine drain, engine drain oil in soluble particles with particle track and particle view. Here I took a photo to demonstrate how both particle view and particle track can be directly inserted into a small beaker containing highly contaminated passenger car drain oil from an accelerated engine test. This specific passenger car engine test is designed to quickly stress the lubricant oil with high temperature and insoluble particle generation as a result of lubricant degradation and fuel by combustion. Then the question arises, why do we need to use these probe-based technologies for drain oil characterization? The answer is in the next slide. Here we are looking into three pistons. Each one represents the piston cleanliness or piston deposit control ability of a different formulation in the same engine test. First one has poor deposit control. You can see in the dirty second and third lands. And the next two have improved deposit control. So controlling the formation of these particles through antioxidants and base oil. And once the particles are formed, dispersing and stabilizing them through detergents and dispersants are essential to control deposit formation. And that comes from the lubricant additive package. Therefore, particle track and particle view can be used to study the state of dispersion in these in this highly contaminated oils. In this slide, I'm showing the direct measurements of insoluble side distribution in those three drain oils by particle track. Y-axis shows the count number and X-axis shows cord length in micrometers. Micrometer size regime shows us highly aggregated particles. Primary particle size is typically 20 to 40 nanometer based on TEM analysis. And what we are seeing here, those small primary sub-micron particles are aggregating into micrometer size aggregates. And in poor deposit control case, we simply have significantly more counts of aggregated particles. It's the first indication that the oil couldn't handle the formation of those aggregates compared to two cases with improved deposit control. Here, we can investigate integrated area under those curves to find the total counts between half micron and 100 micron aggregates. As you can see, total counts of insolubles are higher in poor deposit control case, and lower count rate is associated with better dispersancy, detergency, and antioxidancy, giving an improvement in deposit control. Now the question is that, are these numbers really representing those aggregates we are talking about? Well, let's have a look at them with particle view in their natural state without dilution. Here, we are looking into those aggregates in dark drain oil. White spots are the aggregated particles, and you can see they are everywhere because of high contamination. And we can capture, for example, some 5 micrometer and 21 micrometer insoluble particles. Now, let's look at those three oils with different deposit control performance. These are the snapshots images during dynamic image acquisition. The measurements are in agreement with particle track, and images can be post-processed with software for further analysis. Okay, in our second example, we will investigate anti-foam droplet characterization in gear oil samples. In lubricating fluids, foams are always undesirable, and the reasons for this include possible overflow of fluids, impaired power transfer, reduced hydrodynamic lubrication, and reduced heat transfer. Therefore, silicon or polyacrylate polymers are introduced into oil as anti-foam additives. These polymers form insoluble droplets with low surface tension, and they can go into air fluid interface to reduce foaming with different mechanisms. One of the most important critical parameters of an anti-foam droplet that affect the performance is the size of the droplets, because certain smaller size droplets can be more effective controlling foamability. 
Since these polymers are insoluble in oil, it is important to optimize blending conditions and pumps in order to produce formulations with optimum droplet size. Now let's have a look at how particle track and particle view can be utilized to characterize antiform droplets, even in very low concentration. In this example, we are looking into a fully formulated gear oil with silicon antiform incorporated. Concentration is less than 100 ppm, and particle track can measure size distribution around 2 micrometer and above under dynamic stirring conditions. These results agree with previous optical microscopic analysis measured under static conditions. And here is the sample analyzed by particle view, which allows us to visualize those silicon antiform droplets under dynamic stirring conditions. In this example, we are looking into another class of antiform polymeric droplets, polyacrylates. It is typically much more difficult to detect polyacrylates in oil due to lower refractive index difference between oil and polymer and due to low concentration. But we were able to measure size distribution of 65 ppm of polyacrylate antiform droplets. We also introduced more polyacrylates under dynamic conditions and you can see the immediate increase in the count number. We can also plot count number as a function of time, and particle track can detect count time trend during dynamic blending conditions. And finally, particle view can visualize even these polyacrylate antiform droplets. In the last example, we will investigate how particle track and particle view can be utilized to characterize air bubbles in a contaminated oil with particles. Why is it important to characterize air bubbles in oil? Well, in a hydraulic system, for example, air can be trapped in oil, which is called aeration. This air needs to be quickly released, otherwise it can harm the hydraulic efficiency. In this experiment, we introduced air into a contaminated oil, and after stopping bubbling, we monitor size distribution and bubble dissipation with particle track under continuous stirring. You can see here we started bubbling, and here we stopped bubbling. And we are looking into count numbers from bubbles in different size regimes between 40 and 200 micrometers. So one can study both size distribution and bubble dissipation rate in different size regimes at the same time. Moreover, when we look into size distribution between half and 1000 micrometers, we observe two different size regimes in highly contaminated oil. We can see drain insoluble particles around 10 to 20 micrometer and bubbles around 100 micrometer in different times. Therefore, in this example, particle track was able to differentiate particles and bubbles separately. Of course, from all this data, we can also plot air bubble dissipation rates for the bubbles between 40 and 100 micrometer size. Particle track showed a linear dissipation of air bubbles. Therefore, this probe-based technology can be utilized to track bubble dissipation rates and optimize hydraulic machinery or formulations. And finally, we can demonstrate that particle view can also be used in order to visualize these air bubbles in the presence of particles. In this highly contaminated sample with particles and bubbles, particle view is showing enough contrast to visualize the system. In conclusion, particle track and particle view are effective probe-based technologies to characterize challenging samples in micrometer size in real time. Dark oils, highly contaminated samples, droplets and bubbles can be studied to identify mechanisms such as growth, aggregation and transient events. Studying dispersion of particles, insoluble polymer droplets and bubbles in opaque or contaminated systems 
open new opportunities for formulating lubricants and cost savings. I'd like to acknowledge my colleagues in Lubrizol Additives and for their kind collaboration uh, and Metler Toledo. Thank you for your listening.